bit of an interesting feud we got going on here as we got uh, DCU's very own Killer Croc going one-on-one with the old rattlesnake, Eve Austin, the Texas rattlesnake himself, in a Falls Count Anywhere match here at Judgment Day. Let's get into it. Straight out of Arkham, it's Killer Croc, a.k.a. Waylon Jones. The half-man, half-croc hybrid has made his way from the ways of DCU all the way to WWE. Seeks sanctuary outside of Gotham City away from the Batman, and he arguably found himself in the crosshairs of someone far worse Far more dangerous, the rattlesnake, the Texas rattlesnake, the bionic redneck Steve Austin. Killer Croc, Steve Austin. One on one, mano a mano. Bell rings. Oh, major clothesline to start this one. And Austin putting a whooping on him. Austin still mighty mad about losing that Stone Cold title. Mighty mad about coming out on, oh, coming out on the bottom end of the rivalry with Eddie Guerrero. And he launches Killer Croc right out of the ring, letting him know this is his ring. This is his domain. Ain't no room for Killer Croc here. No sanctuary to be found. He'll be begging to go back to Gotham with the Batman. But Co- oh no, Croc getting punched right into the barrier. Go, oh, fist in the face, blow to the back, another blow to the back, and an axe handle, final axe handle that hit him down. Croc has been taken off his feet. Now Austin looking for a weapon, not underestimating his opponent, not looking to get caught slipping again. This feud has grown between these two men. Oh. Austin running into a brick wall, realizes he can't outmuscle Killer Croc, but damn it, he can outpunch him. He can outfight him. He can put a whooping to him and stomp a muddle in his ass and walk it dry. And that's what he hopes to do, but oh, reversal. Austin reverses that one. Texas Rousey grabs a chair again. Doom hits him. Third time for your must, but he shakes it off. Walks right into a knee. Oh, that looks like it hurt Austin just as much as it hurt Croc. Big elbow drop. Grabs a chair once more. Bang! Cracks him in the face with that chair. And it's all dented up and beaten. Let's go. Go again. Axe handle. Ah, another axe handle sends him to the floor. Kendo stick to the leg. Smashes it all to pieces. When he's on a roll like this, Stone Cold is hard to beat. He's looking to pull. Thrown right into the barricade. Catches that fist and reverses. Stunner! Stunner on the outside. Goes for the cover. One. Two, kick out. Croc kicks out of that one. Killer Croc kicked out of that stunner. The bloody and bruised Killer Croc kicks out of it. Stone Cold locks in a submission. And he's pulling at the arms of Killer Croc, pulling at him. If he can't pummel him in his submission, he can at least cause him so much pain that he quits on his own. Can't keep him down for the count, then maybe he can get him to quit. Reverse it. Oh, big elbow to the face. Clothesline to Austin. Croc gets Austin back up to his feet. Something planned here. Launches him. Oh, launches him the length of the ring with that Irish whip. Austin back up to his feet. Sweeps back in the ring. Shoulder tackle. Finally knocks him down. Locks in that submission again. Locks it in. It's out of it. Now, go, knee to the gut, sends him flipping over. Good. 
Austin reverses. This Arkham inmate's going down. He's going to go back to Arkham. But oh, million dollar dream, million dollar dream. Haven't seen this one in a long time. Haven't seen this one during the ring since the ringmaster days. Austin locks in the million dollar dream. And he submits Killer Croc. What a match, folks. And that's the bottom line, because old Stone Cold said so. Killer Croc comes short in this one. He taps to the Million Dollar Dream locked in by the Texas Rattlesnake. As Austin proves, there is only room for one cold-blooded, well, cold-blooded animal in the ECW. And it is Steve Austin victorious here at Judgment Day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And uh, rock out.